and Johnson's move to House Speaker does come with some drawbacks. So joining us now via Zoom is chair of the Louisiana Democratic Party, Katie Bernhardt. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yes, thanks for having me. Now you shared some very strong opinions in the statement that you issued earlier. Do you mind recapping for us? Well, of course, um, I, I think that uh, we all wanna celebrate someone from Louisiana, but I also wanna point out that uh, Representative Johnson has not represented the ideals of, of the people of Louisiana. Um, there's a lot of things that we need to fight for here. Uh, we need economic development. We need better schools. We need better infrastructure um, and we need safer communities. And, and I hope that this is a, a, a new opportunity for him to show up for the first time on these issues for us. So do you think that he will be able to be the voice that can effectively work with both parties and kind of bring us forward? I think he has a history of being an extreme right wing Republican. And so I see that as highly unlikely. Um, I always uh, have the best wishes for anyone taking on a new leadership position. I hope there is a change of heart there. Being the one that was behind the amicus brief that sought to disenfranchise millions of voters in a, in a fair election uh, does not give me a lot of confidence in, um, in his ability to work across party lines. Now, talking about his time and experience, Johnson has less than seven years under his belt, and that is a much shorter time frame than past speakers. So do you think this will work in his favor or do you think this will work against him? I think it was such a chaotic time in Washington and, and with the Republican Party nationally um, that, that they had to find someone that uh, didn't have a past that they, they were fighting over. So um, I think it's in the best interest of the country. They finally settled the matter. But um, it doesn't give me a, a lot of confidence um, moving forward. Well, talking about some of the national issues that uh, he has to deal with, we're facing a potential government shutdown coming up on November 17th, along with funding issues, as well as more funding going to Israel, potentially Ukraine. What do you think his stances will be moving forward on that? Well, I, I don't know what his stances will be, but I certainly hope that we can prevent any government shutdown. I think that uh, folks forget that we pay money to the federal government and we depend on our representatives there to fight to get that funding back to the state of Louisiana and the people who paid it in. Um, we need our funding here in Louisiana. We need people fighting for us uh, like Congressman Carter uh, does every day to get that money back here in Louisiana into the um, the areas that we need it most for the people and the families here. Well, Katie, thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you so much for your time. Again, we will continue our coverage on House Speaker Mike Johnson and we will keep you first aware and first alert. Thank you again for joining us. Thanks so much.